even recognize who they were Texans. or where they were that were harmed. But yes, and I get it. And you didn't step in on that. Well, but I wasn't in the legislature then. you're stepping on top of then. these families. Okay. Mr. Speaker. Ms. Gonzalez, Fort the gentleman yield? The gentleman yield for questions? Yes. The gentleman yields for questions. Mr. Oliverson, so you've never treated someone who's experiencing gender dysphoria, correct? Nope. Okay. Um, have you ever had a conversation with someone who has gender dysphoria and asked them how this bill would impact their life? We did have those conversations, Representative. Okay. And what, and what were those? I mean, it was mixed, obviously. There were some that were, um, there were some I would say that were obviously, as, as I think it would, you would expect, uh, that were nervous about this bill and what it might hold. And we also heard from some that said, if this had been enforced 10 years ago, I wouldn't be suffering the way I am now. And how many uh, reputable medical associations did you have a meaningful conversation with before you filed this legislation? Well, several. I had conversations with the Texas Medical Association. I had conversations with representatives from pediatrics and other medical specialties. Um, can Those you are the ones I can think of. Okay. I'm sure there were more. Can you explain uh, to the body what gender dysphoria is? Well, gender dysphoria is a mental health condition where the patient experiences a strong negative reaction to their own appearance and their body. Um, are you aware of any it's other... It's kind of like anorexia, if you think about it, to a certain extent. It's a similar... And I, and I don't mean that flippantly. What I mean is that anorexia is also a distorted perception of body image, where a patient sees themselves differently and feels uncomfortable when they look in the mirror with who they are. But you recognize that it's a serious medical condition, correct? It's a serious mental health condition. It's not a medical condition. Let's be clear about that. Gentleman's time has expired. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Doorkeeper. Mr. Speaker, I have a messenger from the Senate at the door of the House. Admit the messenger. Mr. Speaker, I'm directed by the Senate to inform the House that the Senate has taken the following action. Thank you, sir. Please excuse Representative Bajani because of important business in the district on a motion by Representative Martinez Fisher. Is there objection? Chair? No. Following amendment, clerk will read the amendment. Uh, 